Jotaro Shobo. Ring a bell? Guy's a fucking psychopath. Records himself torturing joy toys and sells that shit to like-minded scumbags. The Mox finally tracked him down. This is your chance to give this fucker what he deserves and earn a little scratch while you're at it. More on this sicko attached.
Jotaro Shobo. Ring a bell? Guy's a fucking psychopath. Records himself torturing joy toys and sells that shit to like-minded scumbags. The Mox finally tracked him down. This is your chance to give this fucker what he deserves and earn a little scratch while you're at it. More on this sicko attached.
Got a Soviet fixer in town. My client wants to show some hospitality. Get to know our unexpected guest. Go to the port in Kabuki. Pop a GPS on our comrade's ride. Car came with him all the way from the USSR. More info attached.
It is good to see you, B. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at Anchor in the Bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Just hope he doesn't blindly follow Arasaka protocol. What protocol? Unwritten rules. Had him here in Night City. Could be different in Japan. If IA got even a whiff of treason, they'd prep an enhanced interrogator and send two elite squads with air support to grab the suspect. I understand the point you seek to make. But if Oda has ulterior motives, he will need no elites, no air support, no one but himself. Trust me, I have seen him work. Mm. That's supposed to be reassuring? If it helps you stay calm, you can gaze at the sky. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. Speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Is there? So what happened? Your Inobu strangled the old guy. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama? Most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do But you can't duty. ignore the truth! You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do Sorry, but this gonna take much longer. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to your inabu sama What would you do now were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yori. Oda, you are an Arasaka soldier. This is not a request. We remind you of your duty to be truthful to your superiors. I did not come here to be lectured to by a thief. Wasn't always what I am now. And your friend here didn't always look like a bum. Feel free to join us. Plenty of room at the bottom of the heap. Not enticed? Then do your duty. Tell Hanako what nobody else wants to hear. That should be to him. As you say, food of all thought. Just gotta tell it like it is sometimes. It is a shame. Nothing will come of it. How come? It should have been obvious. Oda is a perfectionist. He most fears to make a mistake. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. Find friend there. Got any more? Alas, only him. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes. And obtained something useful. Hmm, how do you figure that? What Oda said. 
they returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps, if somehow we can get to Hanako-sama. We must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Now just the fixer, dame. Wakako Okada. Runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? JJ Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a night city name. Beware, you mock me too often. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? Uh, just asking. Does everything with you have to have an ulterior motive? I apologize. That came off wrong. I... am... I am simply not used to such questions. People like me, either we are doing well, or we are in a grave. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. Well, well. Who do I spy but V? In my humble parlor, no less. Okako, long time no see. So what brings you here? 
and your charming friend is? Happen to be working together, that's all. Takemura Goro desu. Okada-san, oai dekite kohei desu. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Caution. Caution? World's most wanted Japanese fugitives hiding out in Night City, and you got nothing to do with it? Please. We know they're thinking. They'll link you to us faster than you can finish puffing on that sig. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka again. What I fail to understand is why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not? Come on, got your finger on the hood's pulse. Know everything. Parade honoring Saburo Arasaka? You're prepping in some way. No doubt. Won't see me dressed in mourning. Iwanante. But the rest is true. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you. It's free. Okada-san. What is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, the guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old, automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japan Town. And we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Thanks, Wakako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. Have some outstanding biz to settle. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Here we go. We are not done. Go see a Ripper Dock. They'll weave you a dermal imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A tiger claw specialty. Willing to bet nobody knows Westbrook like you do. My husband's knew Westbrook, yes. Each of them, very high in the tiger claws, ruled Japan Town. What did they do? They did what made the best eddies, gave them the most pull, sold sex and black market tech. Can't help asking. How many of those husbands did you have? Five. All went before the time. Terrible family tragedy. Not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons. A delightful, mature woman. This information, 
It could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Stay safe, Goro. You as well. Until next time. Got something that'll keep you wet for hours. Hey, I don't think I know you. I'm Claire. You might not remember me. Bartender at the afterlife? Uh-oh. Forgot to close my tab. Where has a buzz about you lately? As the merc who's reliable gets things done. And since I need help... Okay. Need a driver for street races. Drop by my auto shop. I'll tell you more. Your garage. Where is it? In Arroyo, on Valley. Lovely spot. You can't miss it. All right. Try not to. If I'm not there when you arrive, just hang. I'll show up after my shift at the after. Okay. See you, Claire. This trouble? The net around me? You woke it. You know it. I lost everything. Let me be you. plain. Again. Solve your own problems. Clean up you your own what, shit. Go fuck yourself. Be careful who you bargain with. Rogue? Wanted to talk. It's okay. Hmm. Not here, not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, it's really her. Fucking rogue, just kicking it back on a couch at the afterlife. Don't mess with her, she's got MRIs. See right through you. Give her the truth. 
Need your services. Gotta track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer, worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? <laughs> Thanks. Jump in too soon. First, my help's got a price. Second and third? Dexter Deshawn, Jackie Wells, Tipa. Multiple bells ring in V. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Sokka Tower. How they shot me up right in front of her. Wanna go through obits? Really? Fine. Johnny Silverhand. Zeroed inside our Sokka Tower. Before your very eyes. Got more if you want. Or we could just talk. Got nads on you, girl. Don't like that on every woman, but they seem to suit you. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Mm-hmm. See? Should be enough. Mm-hmm. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk. Here to see Rogue. Expecting me. Hey, Rogue, I'm back. What about Hellman? Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. I hope you found him. Don't see that often. Determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Bottle stays. Go ahead. Enjoy. To your health. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Let's see what you got. Your helmet's not on any payroll, not officially anyway. But he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Must be prepping him for a transfer. How would you know? Chinese corpo playbook's an open one to me. This looks like the old vanishing pigeon. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but... Catch the load on the Savy. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Uh-huh. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look, their backup hustle will be on us. But, right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city, and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. Dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. So a native. 
Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her, not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Navin Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Strange. Thought nomads give the city and city folk a wide berth. Varies by clan, by the connections they have, the depth of shit they're in. But you're right. Alda Caldos are rarely willing to do biz with the city. Pan Am's got a different take? Yep, on everything, it seems. Why's Pan Am gotta help me? I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. She ran into a hitch. Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Guess I can try to help her, but if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. Fine, let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Ah, oh, finally. Let's get out of here. All clear. Thanks. Good luck. Some work? V here. V who? V where? How did you even get this number? From Rogue. Oh, uh, great. Fuck. Where's that old war horse want to kick me now? <laughs> this thing between you and Rogue couldn't care less. Got a job for you. Good. But I'm overextended at the moment. With the merch in your car? Getting him back? I can help with that. The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya. Since we're gonna work together, only right to say hello. They call me El Capitan, and they call you V. 
See no introductions necessary. Already took care of them. Someone comes to me with biz, I take care of it. I eat, sleep, and breathe biz. Remember that. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, you need fresh wheels, bikes? I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up anytime, you hear?
Hey, Pan Am? So you're a V. Where's my car? <clears throat> Agree to help me, you'll find out. Oh, fuck no. You will not jerk me around. Tell me where my car is. Hey, come on. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Know where to find the cargo and your car, but you go alone, you won't get him back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? One guy I gotta talk to. A corpo traveling by corp convoy. No, I don't do abductions. Besides, you'd need many more bodies and heaps of gear to take a convoy. It's just one AV. Plan route will take it over Jackson Plains. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. We got a deal? I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, goods are there. Nash, you dirty bastard. I will strangle you. Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I, I should think this through. Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Wanna tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. Boss, hey. Now she's gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is, the motherfucker screwed me over. Boss, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Boss, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meat. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, boss. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. Gave that meathead your word and he took it? Is that surprising? It's called having a reputation. You should try getting one of your own. So, where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. Rogue mentioned your friends. Said you guys stopped seeing eye to eye. Well, since Rogue said so, it must be true. It isn't? You mean to irritate me. Okay, then. It was just a hiccup. They're still family. So it's complicated. You might say so. Yes. Good, let's roll. Get in. Nice ride. Lots of space. Practical. Say no more. Please. How the hell did you land in this mess? I like the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamn fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue, do better not to worry what her agenda might be. God damn, I can't stand the bitch. Rogue's queen of the afterlife. Plays her pawns as she pleases. Did you just call me a pawn? I got a good look at her. She roasted the top because she reads people. So what if she keeps things to herself? It's a skill in her profession. Well, I think she's a lying, manipulative bitch. She put me together with that rabbit. Did you know that? 
Must have had her reasons. You don't say. Rogue won't open her mouth without weighing the for and against. What to spill and what to withhold. Would you look what the cat dragged in? Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm hmm. And who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. Hey guys. Hello. What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. Need your help. With what? What's this about? Raffin screwed Pan Am. Plan is to show him that was a bad idea. How bad did they get you? Bad enough to make me sit quietly through all your bullshit. You know, we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to... Sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? Really could use your help. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Van Am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance, but... But Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear, then be out of your hair. Looks like you're stuck with me. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. Maybe a little, yes. Hey, Pan Am. Are you staying a while? No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. Hey, Pan Am. Have you brought someone new? Does Saul know? Not your concern, friend. Will you help me with this? What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. Figure out your differences with Saul when you come back. Is it? Pan Am, you'll stop by later, right, honey? Next time, Ellie. I promise. I'm off. Yeah, yeah, go on, go already. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. Put it in the trunk. We can go. Hop in. Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue, Saul, your leader. Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. 
Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. What happened? The reason we came to California was because he promised change for the Aldecaldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. Mm-hmm. Do you have anyone you would call close? Not right now, no. Could just be a matter of time, though. <laughs> okay. So, Rocky Ridge. Empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. How many ghost towns do you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. And you hear it. What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. Were those two in the army? Scorp and Mitch? Yeah. Panzer boys. They were on contract during the last war. Panzer boys? Flew those huge transporters? Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a stack of really fucked up nightmares. Okay, we have arrived. What do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins, and we have little time for that. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful. Now Rocky Ridge could be any debtor. Everything down, nothing works here. Well, have you found anything? No dice. Nothing's up. I'll cut off. Well, we'll make it work. The Raffins will roll in after dusk. We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. Let's check the substation. Okay.
breakers, but there's no juice on them. Not to worry. Come down. I know how to surprise the bastards. Yeah. Right. So, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? So, classic roof. Good old diversion. You know it. First, we don't know how many are coming. My thinking is it'll be a sizable crew. Second, we have to create an opening to get to my car. If they're bunched together, we won't stand a chance. So we give them a little light show at the intersection? Yes. We'll breathe some life into this dusty old town. Soon as they see the lights, they'll have to check who, why, and how. Nova. Yep. First, we start up the control terminal below. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Come on, we'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. Wait for me by the substation. I'll bring the car around. looks to be in good shape. I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and running. Grab the jumper cables from the trunk. We'll boost it from the car battery. The cable connected. Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. And done. Now the Black Rattler. There she goes. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside. And once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on a platter. You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Yes, ma'am. Someone will send you a bill. Which gear's got power? Prime. We'll have some fun at the intersection. Let's get into position. Got it. Cover me, just in case. Of course. The 
they're rolling in. And my thorn. You see her? Really, really hard to miss. Let's take them by surprise. Let's try to do this quietly. If anything happens, I'll start picking them up. Sound good? Sounds great. There be light. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll take the wheel. There. Couldn't wait another minute, could you? isn't she? Dreamy indeed. No surprise you wanted her back. She completes me. See? Managed just fine without Mitch and Scorpion. Listen, V, it's not over yet. It's not? You got the cargo, you got your car. I did not get Nash, who was not in Rocky Ridge. The fucker didn't show. Pan Am. Listen, I have a plan. And I don't care. The car and the merch, that's what we were after. We got them. Six feet away from Listen and to I... me, for fuck's sake. I know where their little hidey hole is. We'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. Wanna just show up at the Raffin hideout? Are you out of your do mind? Do you have a better idea? Let me hear it. Matter of fact, I do. We take this stuff to Sixth Street. Then go after Hellman like we planned! I gave you my word, didn't I? Please, stop writing my ass about Hellman. And do not start acting high and mighty, like you won't lift a finger if it's not in the contract. Just... just help me get Nash. Ugh, all right. So where's this hideout? A hop and skip away. Thanks, V. did I placed my trust in him he was the first person I worked with after leaving the Alda Caldos after I came to Night City and I granted him my trust I get it now how you feel had someone betray me just like that once and did you make them pay never got the chance someone else got to him first but if they had it would you have done it no doubt, without skipping a beat. Let's get this over with. Are you ready? Let's get him.
That's it! You're mine now! Hell yeah! 